e mua tahua ne kawa se mui ni wa te e wa shine e hua te ni hama hawat i mia tiamat i wa mene a sama hawat ne mua i se mi wa e tu na sa i mua hama te he i asu Feel anything? You feel oh, any my chest is tingling right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like a true light worker. Okay. Being enhanced <laughs> on my mission. Okay. So do you feel anything? Uh, very grounding, kind okay. of like in my body. <laughs> okay. 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 So yeah, booth is full. Everybody's here. And thank you, Rob. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Our lineup. At our booth, Lisa has like people in line waiting, doing readings, like we're booked. A little break right here, I feel like tons of people. All, all my cards, are, my regular cards are gone. I brought like a, a thousand. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, how do you like the experience with me at this event and Ra. overall? Ra, well, dude, come on. You're like one of the coolest cats here. <laughs> I totally love you. We resonate at the same frequency. We're into the same stuff. We're brothers from another mother. That's what I was to say. Cool, cool. How, how do you enjoy the event here? Oh, this is like coming home. It's my first time here, but it's, oh, so cool, it's a cool, cool. thing to say, but I feel like everybody here is just like, you, you, you can talk to people about whatever you want to talk about unlike how my dual life that I have to live when I go back home and go back to work it's like it's like the human disguise in the 3d yeah, realm right yeah it's frustrating to do yeah. that, live that way and it's yeah yeah it's awesome here so it is awesome yeah. cool. talk about anything oh, I love no one's it. gonna ridicule you you can just open up completely and then what happens is you, can, you this is what happens you get this permagrant thing yeah <laughs> it doesn't go away it stays like the whole time and then um, no drugs or alcohol, nothing. Yeah. And then when you leave, you know, your face hurts for a while. That's, yeah. that's about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you get like Rob. yeah. And, and the cool thing is I have my favorite shirt on. Yeah. And what are you bringing uh, that, that, that day? And oh, I didn't know that. My brother here, I, to see him again, I got him a Star Trek Captain Kirk uh, patch, which is identical to the uh, authentic. Uh, for my brother here, no Captain Kirk insignia. So this yeah. matches my favorite shirt. The like, uniform. How does that hat. happen? And another synchronicity: yellow is for security. In wow. Star Trek, right? Oh, it's, it's red. Oh, it's no, red. science. Oh, it's, yeah, it's which, science. Science. Yellow is okay. man. I was thinking you guys. Blue look. is science. Okay. So you, red is security. All right. I'll, I'll straighten right. you out, right. Powers. Don't right. worry. We'll rest you in my Star Trek. Cool. Well, thanks for the statement. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the stand. So give me a quick statement for YouTube. Yes. What did you see online? What I, what did I tell you when you get on the ship and what did you do? Say that in the camera. Hey, peace and love. This is that hippie star. See that melanated being. Listen, so Rod did this fantastic video on YouTube. Talking about listen, it's cool if you know you go up on the ships, but just you gotta do more than go up on the ship. He said if you go up on a ship, ask to bring something back to help humanity. So I said, cool, I'm going to do this. So I made intention. I went to sleep. I said, okay, if I go up, remember, ask for something. So I go up on the ship. They give me a white panel. I was at the panel box of the ship. And I said, listen, Artorius Ross said, you know, we need to bring something back to humanity. May I have something to bring back? They said, sure, and gave me this white plaque about this wide. And it has black codes on it with gold arrows. And I'll inbox it to you, right? Yeah. And so I brought something back that's gonna help the humanity. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Thank you, Ra. You the man. Yeah. Once, 
long ago, in a time dimension before time, we were one. Our magic was cosmic, divine, and it was cherished. Source spoke to us, and we embodied. We created, and it became real. Then, all was good. At some point, some stopped listening. Energies changed, and the fall of consciousness began. Over time, we forgot. Once more, your ancestors are calling you into your purpose. Now, more than ever, is your time to remember your cosmic origin. You have been living in a dream of forgetfulness. Now recall the love and the divine will that was given to you. You're precious, and nothing is above you. As you awaken, your talents will return. Feel your wings. Sense your halos. Open your third eyes. Hey, April, you want to give a quick YouTube statement? About? How do you feel being here? Sure. Do I look at the camera? Or you? Yeah, look at the camera. Uh, really high energy here. It's like, you know, as soon as you walk in, you feel everyone's vibe and everything's magnified and you got these crazy tools just bringing everyone up to this super excited energy. It's all the different people here, like most Isley Bar, right? It's like all of these different aliens in human form. Is that Yeah, fun? that feels like there's a lot of aliens in human form walking around casually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People had sightings uh, night night times. They were doing a little night tours yeah. here, yeah. Yeah, I saw them looking. I didn't see much, but okay. there's a lot to see, so. Okay, well, thanks for the statement. Yeah. We keep it moving. Mr. Styles. You're going to be live on YouTube, so give, give me a statement. How's your, What's going on? How, how do you feel with your business and everything being here? I uh, love the community here. Everybody's very responsive to the technology that we're unfolding here. Uh, we have bioactive fill generators for your house, your tabletop, to go over your bed. Websites? Uh, websites, ipyramids.net. Check us out. Lots of education there. Go down the rabbit hole. Give me a call if you got any questions. So that's Jason Styles, my man. Look at this. He's busy as a bee. Booth is packed. See, I can only do this when my booth is not that packed. See, this is, this is loaded. Like, look at this, people. Like, we're having more success than ever this year. Off the chain. How do I feel? Oh, it's great. Section. It's really beautiful being able to witness um, everyone's different experiences and see someone come in in pain and leave with pain relief. And to be in a state of bliss, people have said that they've been feeling high, they get giggly. Um, so it's, you know, taking people to a really beautiful space. And I'm just really um, blessed and honored to be able to witness it all today and this whole weekend. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks for the statement. Yeah. Quick hello. Say hello to YouTube. I know you're eating. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, everything is good. So, and oh, nice, demolished. nice, nice. Eating healthy. Look at the look at the temple of the master here. Super abundance. Yeah, every year, blessings every year. So it's two tents actually. The guy has. See, everybody's busy. So, let's see, superstars. <laughs> statement for YouTube well, yeah for YouTube statement. so so how was your experience I don't know 
meeting me and meeting uh, you. <laughs> and being here and meeting good people. <laughs> well, this year is our first year. Okay. Am I looking at the camera or are you? Yeah, you look at the camera. Okay. <laughs> this year is our first year and it's amazing just the energy around everyone. And they're so friendly. And then meeting Ra here, <laughs> he's like his energy is even more you know, illuminating and and amazing and contagious. You get instant connection. We just like walked right up and you're like, hey, yeah, we're cool. like, hey. <laughs> I like that we all, we all, we're all connecting on this one one level. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah that's what I like. You yeah. know, I'm like a multicultural kid, yeah. Yeah. half German, whatever mix, and then we, we, everybody see everything is cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we so, stayed a while. So you think you're twin flames? Yes, oh, we are cool. twin flames. Cool, excellent. Definitely yeah. now. Excellent. Yeah. So we probably did it in the past life before. Many uh, lives. We, Many yeah. past lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kissing her, it's like time traveling and seeing every single different past life we've ever had. Well, yeah. that's why we get together, that's why we're here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To I'll every connect shirt, with well, our soul family. Did, have they seen your shirt? Oh, they they seen my shirt. Yeah. Like, I, I walk, the day I wore it, a guy came gifting me the same emblem. Oh, as awesome. an embroidery, so like super synchronicity. That's yeah, that's so awesome. I'm super happy. Hell yeah! So, how awesome. are you doing? Are you yeah. I'm I'm doing excellent. Awesome. I'm doing brilliant. <laughs> it's hotter day today, but it's. Oh good. Yeah, 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 I enjoyed. But last time I would say it was 115. Oh my god. So this is easy for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna keep on cruising. Thanks for the statement. Yeah, yeah, of course. And see you around. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Lori McDonald. I'm one of the MCs here at Contact in the Desert 2017. We are having an amazing conference. Fantastic workshops, spectacular speakers. It is just the best time ever. Huge UFO sightings last night. It's a good time. So they, have, they also had it on camera, they recorded it. Yeah, everything's so, been right? recorded, we'll be sharing. Okay, cool, thank you so much. Thank you. So how do you like your experience so far at Contact in the Desert? love the experience so far and love who I'm being guided to. Um, this experience is really just activating more creativity for myself on all levels and that's what attracted me to you and your booth and seeing your consciousness infused in your art really expands me to go I need to do more art, get more into my creativity and expand the things that I'm doing on, on this planet. So well, It's cool, I, I love meeting people like you because that, that feels like you know, like we're all like family. Like exactly. for sure. we we don't have to run any big game with one another. We like yeah. we feel each other and support each other in that creative way. So how do you feel Absolutely. meeting people like like me I love of course it. but other people and all of the experience here? It's all a synchronicity and a divine intervention, like coming here and seeing your art and the torsion energy that comes and emits from it is absolutely remarkable. So you're, you're sensitive to feel, to feel stuff? Yeah, that's why I keep touching and holding some, <laughs> some, so, some so of your objects. Have you ever made an creations. experience where you were near uh, electrostatics things where you felt kind of sickly? Yeah. Like that's not that good? Absolutely, yeah. So where was that? Like neon lights or air, airport? Uh, yeah, mainly in airplanes, Yeah. inside airplanes, uh, inside airports. Um, in libraries where there's lots of computers like all connected together yeah, so yeah, when there's yeah. a lot more EMFs I'm really highly sensitive so I have a lot of EMF canceling things on, oh, yeah, my, good, good. So, yeah, on my phone. Yeah. 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 It's good that we have <laughs> conscious people here actually that feel the feel yeah. and stuff. So thanks for the statement. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. <laughs> this Albert Jewelry. Describe your experience at Contact in the Desert. Higher dimensional gems. See, higher dimensional stuff. Look at the super boutique here. Atlantean high priestess channeled energy crystals. Yes. So, so how, how do you describe your experience here? Oh, I love it. I come, I came the first two years as an attendee. Yeah. And then Ra is telling me, because we live in Sedona, yeah. that he loves being a vendor here. So I finally, I, I was finally convinced to try it this year because I closed my little boutique. I had a healing center in Sedona. And so I closed it and here I am. I love it. So, the people are awesome. Yeah. Business good? Business is really good. Excellent. You know, it's just it's just the loving vibration of the people. The, it's just, I can't explain it. They're just awesome people. Beautiful so cool, people. excellent. So I'm gonna show a little bit of your store sure. so people can see. You have an Etsy store? I have one, yeah, called Liz Alper Jewelry. Okay, cool. So and people know I've Liz Alper Jewelry. Yeah. Look for that. I'll show a little bit of what she has so you actually have an idea. See what the, the powerful things that people look at these love pendants. Yeah. All limited edition. You know, golden fused beads. 
Over See, here. these are the infusions. Infusions, it turns blue when it's gold infused, correct? Yep, got opals, yeah. got gorgeous opals. The energy all charged from an Atlantean orb that was found in a, in a cave, correct? Yep. So I'm going over in here in the pyramids, so with ancient transmissions. So here. There's some high end pieces yeah. over there. High end, just high end stuff. I got a gorgeous skull here. Yeah. Nothing here is mass produced, people, and this is where it's at. This is the power. Well, thank you, Liz. Thank you. We'll bro. see you on YouTube. Yes. Thank <laughs> you so far. So it's been pretty amazing. Um, the talks and the speakers have been incredible. I always love coming by your booth. The energy is nice and high. Uh, I really love your artwork, uh, the space that you create, who you are. I know a little bit about your work. Um, and uh, how powerful the tools are that you make. Um, and overall here is the, the best space for because it's a high level conversation with so many people, really incredible speakers, and you don't have to convince anybody we're on the same page, um, you know, bettering ourselves and covering more of who we are and, and real information, so it's a blessing to be here. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you too, brother. Yeah, cool, peace. Okay, I'm doing it now? Yeah. Okay. Hi, this is Ali. So I'm at this wonderful event meeting all these star family, soul family, and really connecting with different people. And it's just uh, sometimes overwhelming. At the same time, it's beautiful because uh, it's like this is a natural state of being where we connect heart to heart with our family and we feel at home. And it's just, I uh, also came to the channel for Orion Council, the Council or Arcturian Council. And it's uh, such a great blessing to be here because uh, we are all here to help humanity, we are all here to help our star family and to really uh, raise our vibration because uh, as we move through these times, uh, within the next three to five years, there's going to be a lot of changes and as we come here, we change the timeline in the history. So whatever we do, even small steps, the simple act of giving love to people, helping people, is it changes the reality around us and the future of our planet and our children and I, I love you all. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, the move is packed, you see everybody's here. Hi Cecile, architect, also Arcturian, hybrid, We're all in tune here. Yes, it's a lot going on. A lot, a lot of traffic. We had like I think two to three thousand people here, see. So yeah, let me, let me bounce and, and, and do some damage here. Hey, I wanted to share how much I love coming to contact in the desert. I have graciously been able to meet Ra and Krista and knowing them each year, it's such an excitement to get to see them once a year. It's a really fun place to gather where people's minds are very open and everybody's curious and looking for information. And I really love being here. It like raises your it raises many vibrational levels and they have some really amazing galactic oils and they have really cool organ energy pieces and using all of these pieces together is a beautiful way to expand our minds and open our hearts and this event is fabulous and I look forward to it every single year. It's a really beautiful gathering of people. It feels good, man. It feels like the tribes are uniting. We're all coming back, remembering each other, and just to have that dialogue, that galactic dialogue that's happening here that you don't get, you know, in everyday city, you know. So coming to contact in the desert, it's really cool. But on the other hand, there are some very interesting people, different tribes, different energies. So it's good to be aware of like what's out there to, you know, maintain your energy field and to always have that grounded sense of clarity and heart truth with whatever you listen to, especially with all these speakers. And, you know, the speakers are really awesome. There's a lot of good information here. But I feel like, ultimately, let your heart's truth guide you with what resonates most. Because there is some disinformation, I think, that's being put out, and we have to be aware of that. And to just be grounded and centered and at all times. So. Okay, cool. So, is this your first time here or? Yeah, this is my first year okay. at Contact in the Desert. Yeah. And it's such a plethora of 
human beings that are seeking higher truths and mysterious truths. Um, and I think it's really important that we all witness each other and really tap into these people that have done excessive research and who knows what's the truth. I mean, I, again, the truth is in your heart. So I always just go by what I feel. I don't have to believe everything that one is saying. But if I feel that it resonates with me and something go in me goes, oh, yeah, then I take that little bit you know, of treasure, a little gem. And so I'm really excited to be here and just to witness all these beings. And yeah, the Joshua Tree Vortex, I mean, come on. Out of, it's like energy is like so amazingly quick and synchronistic. Just people meeting the people I'm meeting anyway in my journey here is like I, it's just such so many gifts. So I'm really thankful to the land and to the desert. Well, thanks. Hey, Brian Besco and Twisted Sage. Um, this is our third year here uh, with the Ascension Chamber and the tools. You know, this year we're noticing that uh, everything's a lot more positive, everything that people are promoting. Um, you know, because the first years it was you know, a lot of fear-based stuff, it seemed like. But um, this year it seems like that fear-based stuff, any of that is coming through, people just aren't receiving it as, as they did. You know, and so everybody is, you know, it's exciting to see that people are being more, being more heart-centered. Um, you know, because really that's what this is all about. I mean, we want to go into all of this from the heart because we'll just attract things if we're in the fear mode. Yeah, show, show us a little bit of what you do and explain a little bit if you can. I will keep the camera closed so people can hear you. Oh, so this is where the mic is. So point, point it out and I just point it out. Okay, um, so we have uh, the two Taurus. The Taurus creates a toroidal field. We put the crystals inside of there. There's also a crop circle in 2009. Um, it's a very powerful field that goes out about 100 yards or with intention. Uh, we have a lot of other tools um, like the lower dimensional clearing devices, um, the golden light wands which are connected to an etheric tool uh, older than the galaxy, probably the universe. It's something that's uh, again like all of our tools, soul based, heart based. Um, and then over here we have a lot of the water. Um, we have a lot of the water rings. Um, we are featured in the Dancing with Water book, the second edition. And uh, so there's the science behind the rings and what they're doing with water. So, so what is this doing here? Like with the air? What, what happens with the ions or something? Oh, sure. So this guy here creates a two torus, so that toroidal field that's about three quarters of a mile across. All of these restructure electromagnetics. We've done the biofeedback studies like on our cell phone tabs to where it repurposes the energy. So it makes this a healing device, aligning chakras, and and making organs function better according to the biofeedback. So, and uh, this plate here? Uh, and this is Hedica. This is the symbol of the water elemental. Uh, it's a very ancient um, element. So it's the spirit of water, which is older than the earth. It comes here in support. So we do have all the other elementals that have been channeled in by my sister who channels the Elders Three. See how beautiful this is? And then the highlight of everything is our ascension chamber. Okay, so yeah. So the ascension chamber, it creates a two torus that is 300 miles across. As you stand within the chamber, it grounds you underneath. This is connecting to the crystal sun of the earth, the, the sphere down here, the Gaia sphere. And then here we have the fruit of life floor plate. So this 127 ring matrix, this connects to the DNA. It does all the unlocking and clearing. As you stand within here, it so can... feeling like electric current standing close to it, actually. Wonderful. And it's... Yeah, so my, my arms and my, my ears are tingling. This entire thing is like pretty, pretty... It's like a lot of like, uh, sound energy here. And, and so that is the thing, too, is that all this stuff will change the color of sound. So for yeah, people yeah. who can see sound... Yeah. Um, now, as you stand in here, this connects you to not only your soul family to clear soul contracts that no longer serve you, but also it is connecting you to your star family. It is also doing that DNA unlocking and repairing. 
Um, so it's basically a giant toolbox for the soul. It's the higher soul self that's in charge of everything. As all of our tools, it's the soul. Cool. So, so, uh, so in the end, website, Twisted uh, Sage? TwistedSage.com. Excellent. So thank you so much for your statement and uh, see you on the flip side. I uh, hope to see you guys next year. <laughs> okay, peace. Here we go, party people. Look at this. Yes, I understand. Yeah, and yes. this is uh, original. This is original. This, oh. This was found I, in caves in Mexico. I saw it and I thought that they were. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody the, thinks that. I, ha I have a piece. Oh, cool. You know, this is a book. Yeah. Take, take, Whoa, this, take this page. Lift, yeah, lift this page. Yeah. Look at the inscription the here. Wow. You also touch it, like I can well, feel that. So. Yeah? Yeah, you can touch it. No, no, no. These are uh, record, uh, record like keeper that, files. Oh, yeah, that, that feels funny. That yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like you feel it? Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, these are record yeah. keeper files. That's real. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 you see this here? Look yeah. at this really close. Like right here. Look at it really, really close. Like really close. What's in his mouth, you think? Yeah. Well, yeah I don't know what all of the dudes. Like it looks like it. Yeah. Like something went over and scratched it, like uh -huh. it was covered with sandpaper or something. Ah, okay. See this That's one has a way, little, like, it right? also this feels old. real slick. Yeah. Some go six to forty-five thousand years. It looks unfreaking believable. Like really sure. But there's, oh, I mean, people over there digging this out in the caves. So this is see this. I don't think you're gonna see this on TV. No, no, no. This is this is. No, yeah. So I mean, see here, okay, rings of Saturn. Out of here as fast as we can. Yeah. yeah. And see this like rocket type thing okay. going up. Go and rest. Mm. So we are. We are Thank you. Rest well. We are Dr. Dr. Tell me your name one more time. Sean. Sean. That's right. I need to study this. Room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye you bye. don't have to look at this. So yeah, so wow, a little man. tiny <laughs> interview. So yeah, this. Uh, according to what I hear, and I'm, now I'm talking to you as the, the source guy, they say that it's like there's plenty of caves out there that are unchecked, and there's tons of that stuff in these caves. Yes. And people still say it's not real, this can't be real because it's so direct in the translation that you see this is ETs. Well, but making fakes down there with yeah. no money is yeah. extremely hard. I have a friend that makes fakes, but yeah. it takes them a few years to make one because it takes six months to get the piece out with maybe a thousand dollars worth of surgical scalpel supplies yeah. to grind down a rock that was probably about that big yeah. to one that's about that big. So this would be like 20, 30, 50, 100 years of stuff that nobody can make that in that time. That's impossible. Yeah, modern. Yeah. This would take more, well more than a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than a few generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I uh -huh. read, um, I don't know if you heard about it, they said that uh, Klaus Dona wow. said that uh, him and uh, Nassim Harriman did, did carbon decay measurements and they found out from 6,000 to 45,000 years old. Well, me and my dad, we did carbon dating with Nassim and they came back from 2,000 to 15,000. Okay. And one skull came back 30,000. But the scientists think wow. that's an anomaly. Yeah. Uh, usually uh, you have resistance uh, when you find stuff, you know? Yeah. But, but you can I, see all the Mayan and all the Aztec yeah. ones more or less on the same stone, yeah. variation well, stone. So they could just be from different um, generations from yeah. them. So one could be Mayan, another could be Aztec, Toltecas, Otecas, and all that. And yeah. maybe even before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this could be probably from stuff from Atlantis that they decided that it would be better to put it on stone instead of something that can perish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because stone lasts forever. Yeah. I think these are the record keepers, whatever happened, they prepared themselves to engrave that for the afterworld. I mean, look at this stuff, people. I have one myself uh, from your dad, and this stuff gives me the chills. Yeah. Like when I feel photons or feel crystals, and you can, I can sense that stuff. So yeah, I know you can what feel intent. Their energy. They're oh yeah, not, they're they're transmitting yeah. something. And mm -hmm. if they're if, fake, they yeah. wouldn't give out that kind exactly. of exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. See, 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 the, see the inscription here. The in intricacy. This is insane, people. And some of us star seeds that channel the star <laughs> language. You know, this is it's part of the ancient astronauts. 
I even uh, heard that the Erich von Däniken had one of the pieces in the hand, and he uh -huh, said that's uh -huh. completely authentic. He um, like flipped a tablet. Yeah. And that other one with seven species that we took the other day. Yeah. He, 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 did Erich get his own? Um, no. But but he looked at it and said he's he kind of like it. was he crazy. Held it. He held it. So he was like, "This is crazy." Yeah, he held it in his hands. Oh my God! So, Ali, yeah. we were talking yesterday here. Yeah. Ali told me something about me related yeah. to this sign, but inverted omega. Sign. So look at this, people. This is a big ass rock. Yeah. So we got some stuff here. Like, see, when you don't come to do these events, people see what you miss. Yeah. You right. see that astronaut angel here? I mean, if you go back to biblical yeah. text, it's always the same story. See, they're gifted, there's some energy going on. You see a planet with rings, it might be Saturn. And a, you don't have to understand, in, in history, there's a lot of confusion going on. Everybody thinks they know something, they mix it up, so there apparently must be stories from Saturn, beings from Saturn. It's interdimensional, it's timeline, it's record keeping. It's like. USB sticks, I have to be careful with here. This is a book, okay, mind you. This is like one of my best best shots. Man. So you open that page and then look at how this unfolds. This is insane. You know. And why would we play this game with ourselves for it not to be real? We're hindering ourselves to wake up. We have it in our face. I'm also invited to go to the cave, so maybe next year when I have the time, I'll visit these guys, dig out myself to show you what I find. It's funny when you you travel and they, they say, "What is this?" and you you know people check you, they're like, "Oh, it's it's, it's a replica from the market," and they laugh at you. And you think it's a replica. From what I've seen, why it goes like from side like that. It's not real, but it's straight down where you have to get. See, very real, and I don't think these are ceremonial masks. This so high tech. If you, if you build sand, anything which from a, this, it's on the side of a hill, you know, or a mountain. And there's so these are pages, about apparently. Two kilometers down. We look at that stuff. I'm doing the, the best I can to have the best hill. angle for you. Guys. Sand just doesn't to see it. that much. Just go up all so by here, itself. It's yeah. buried. Inscriptions. There is well, a, a being right now. It's like holding something forty feet deep. So this but is this incredible find these guys. And my dad wants to dig it out and see how far it really goes. Because as far so, as we know, I could go on for 200 kilometers. Or it could be a tunnel system at some point that's connected or, to even more tunnels. And when you yeah. when you break through the, uh, the the layer of the first entrance that usually got disrupted through time, back you go further well, back in, it's less disturbed and you find more stuff. Well, it's like buried. Yeah. Because there's... It is royal about two kilometers or so down a steep hill yeah. in a hole that's through solid stone. Yeah. Wow. That's 40 feet down. That's not something natural. And no. Those no. stones were taller than me, taller than him. And I, thick. Yeah, and I think. I oh my God, look at the yeah, stone. But it's yeah. like, like so that stone is made of God. Rhyolite. And you know what that is, right? The ship? A rhyolite. This is cool. It's the cousin of granite. Like, this is like my highlight. Like, people, so you know. I told many people to come join. This is one of my favorite. If I had the money, I'd buy it. So the at some point, I will snatch that all up. Yeah, but that's not the one that we had tested. We have this green skull with a moving jaw. And it's all by pieces, little square pieces of this green stone that's all green. And uh, it's really, and that one came back 30,000. See, this is this is real. I'm holding this. This is real stuff. A whole lot of pieces about that big. Where it came back for the date, huh? What do you mean it came back for the date? The date was eight thousand. Okay, but I believe so. Scientists believe it's an anomaly. You always have the problem, you know, if the put it this way, the Howard Hall of I call it quackadim does not accept or scientific review what you find. They're not giving you a chance for you to understand that this is real that's why at some point i believe what the hopi said aborigines and many other tribes there will be an event for earth for all to see within six hours undoubtedly understand that your ancestors are extraterrestrial Absolutely. it's not even a question and so then everybody's going to be like question. crying some will lose their minds because they can't believe it and the paradigm will shift from having the control of that you you are here you're the crown of creation and in 17 billion years nothing happens and all of a sudden you have a human race and we go what in 40,000 years from sticks and stones to fly, flying rockets that's so fast that you know 
we already had technology before. We were influenced yeah. before, and yeah. if you read the holy scriptures, and you have the you have it repetitive. Right. Oh, yeah. The evolution of technology just doesn't flatline; it always goes up. Yeah. Oh, so you have to yeah, yeah, it jumps. Now, it's but from the '60s, you would think we'll get a lot more technology advanced. Look at this stuff, man. I've been only attending for like a so This is just like my gift. Like Corey Good yeah. said, you got the. Do you? You know the glass pads. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, yeah, you yeah, have stuff. Uh, I mean, it's multi-dimensional. Look at this guy here. Not even 3D, <laughs> 4D yeah. or something. Yeah, like, I'm exact. Like, Symbolism. Yeah. Look around. You know? Yeah, right. It's barely now we can look around any way you want. Right. Up, down. Yeah. So yeah, they have that. a little display here. And that's just a big one. Charles Blake. People are inspired. Like, they should, see, there should be a mob yeah. here. Yeah. There's not. Yeah. Look at this stuff. And that's how we're gonna close the chapter. And we do as usual, flip it on the flip side. I like how some symbols they never get old. Like it's universal symbology. Shoot. Minium luminous. I feel great like the fire, the sun. I'm just here to express be and contribute to this. Manifestation here as best as I can and to gather my own people so we can get some work done. We're here to heal. One love. One love. Thanks. Yes, sir. We're not all going vortex. The creators. I'll show you the beautiful stuff they have. Look at this stuff. Mind blowing releases. Just so you see what's going on here. Look at this. Looks like Crow. Those who that remember that. <laughs> See this holographic reflection that you, you can't get anywhere. You know, you have to know how, where and how to oh, apply it. Like <laughs> Egypt is calling. See, this is when you get into organized and you really get into the alchemy like space, of things. Um, it's, it's kind of uh, just a holographic yeah, glitter. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm going to share my little secret. See, Beautiful pieces. You, know, you can also pause the video if you want to really, really go deeper into that stuff. And yeah, so we're gonna show you real quick. So the Kaya booth and those are my peeps. A little bit of scenes here from the nice property as we preparing to back it. Those nicey stores, all the aisles. Look at this and the field and the land see so we're going to make our way here too we're going to make our way out of here see this is the stage <clears throat> they're packing up right now so my closure, closure speech, as usual, is, well, I thank everybody for being here. We need more people like you and veterans and ambassadors to uh, make it their point to come to places like Joshua Tree, Contact in the Desert, supremely successful, and I wish all participants and organizers to be blessed. Um, I wish harmonization to whatever is here and uh, good tidings for all, good business. Look at this like jungle area where I'm trying to walk away from the sound so you can hear me. There's a week now, 2017 despite the fact there's a lot of critical stuff going on and we in the future can see ourselves better. We can hear ourselves better more clearly those that find my channel the new ones you're welcome um this is about the clear communication enhancing the mind state i mean i found incredible people people that have cdb mixed with moringa seeds inspiring me into when i'm working on my tinctures photonically enhanced stuff i saw people that work with the uh, aroma and an enhanced substance and diffuser pendants. I mean, crazy creative stuff 
very inspiring. It's, this is the time when it's getting hot in this land. I'm glad we had it in May and not, uh, it's summer, it was like 115 here. And the speakers that were here, and I watch all of those people online or whatever stations they are on. I watch all the shows, appreciate them. And I was, my highlight here was meeting most unusual, very sensitive characters. Let's see what happens when the earth cracks here. Tectonic plate movement. And my highlight was meeting wonderful human beings that are here to do the right and just thing for humanity. And while other people are out there in the realm, um, how, do, how would I put it, fake the funk? There's no future for that. The cicadas confirm that, that keep it real. You know, this is the famous Joshua tree, the holy tree. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right. It's like, it looks like a prehistoric plant. And yeah, feeling this in the env environment where I'm at. Um, I love contact in the desert. Honestly, I'm having fun. Ah, so many insights, so many downloads. There will also be new videos or new downloads that I got. See the back here, there's a mountain that still has snow on the top. I don't even know if I can capture that. Somewhere there in the back. An incredible landscape of the mind and very peaceful. And this is the mission to bring peace back to us. Also, remember the most Eisley bar in Star Wars? This is how this festival took place. Like, you feel like you're on an ancient planet, the ancient Earth. Many ETs from different galaxies in human suits, some with memories, some with having to remember who they are, meet here. But they feel like home and they don't want to leave and they don't understand why that is. Well, this is why that is. When you watch movies like Star Wars or Deep Space Nine, where all the ETs meet and greet, this is uh, actually how it was and will be in the future. So I urge you people out there, build star seeds, star ports, build conscious events where people come together in peace and love and good business and every business enhances the next business as the others that uh, consume pay respectfully the ex exchange. So this business of the new future and new age can be subscribed. This is the new business like Etsy handmade revolutionary stuff, Amazon handmade, we're all catching up to the, the new thing and people are learning to just subscribe to what makes them happy and not what is fake, bought, diluted, or yeah, that has nothing behind it. This is about substance, this is about realness and clarity. And uh, I was very happy to share this flick with you with all there is and all aspects of people, blessed, B and everybody that participated and gave their piece also for this video. I love you very much, more than you know. This is on an angelic level and very emotional and I'm very touched. And I want to see more next year. I want to see people planning a pilgrimage to these places and flood it and say, hey Ra, remember? I remember you from YouTube. Now I'm here in the flesh. Off camera I'm the same, on camera I'm the same. This is not Hollywood, hollow wood. This is more holy and complete. And this is the completion. And on that note, as I say, I see you most certainly on the flip side. Peace.